look, look who's here. It's our good friend Jen John Meyer of Alamo Draft House. Always so good to see you, friend. Hey, friends. Hey, How have you been? Out there. I've been great. I've been great. Mm -hmm. I don't love the weather. I do love that I got to see the very beginnings, the origin story of how Weather Chat with Matt I love came it. to be. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy so, we have multiple like, witnesses. Like, you know, you just wake up and you're like, oh, another day, and, and you don't even know. Yeah, you never know you're going to witness history. <laughs> well, I was going to say. I just witnessed it. And, and with all the hot weather we are having this whole week, it's a great time to go to the movies and cool off. I cannot recommend the movies enough right now. I, In fact, I keep a blanket at my chair because that's how cold it is mm -hmm. in the theater. So yeah. um, definitely go for that reason or go for the movies or go for we have some more menus coming up, new menus. Oh. But before that, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay. We have what you mentioned before, um, the second annual National Cinema Day. So uh -huh. that's coming up on Sunday the 27th. Tickets are now on sale, I think. <laughs> Tickets are, <laughs> if they're not, if they're not, yeah. just give it a beat. Uh, I think they are on sale, but all tickets are $4. Um, wow. Any movie. All day long, any movie, um, all day and night, every round, all day on Sunday. So, awesome. you know, we're going to party like it's 1994, which, did you know that Tickets were $4 in 1994. Are you serious? Oh, wow. I did, not. I, I did not. I found out when I read the blog on our website. <laughs> okay. Because I don't keep up with my 1994 pricing I like don't I either. should. Yeah. Um, and why would I? It's just depressing. So. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, but that's just a great deal. And Fun fact, plus, my, my half birthday is Sunday, August Oh, 27th. my gosh. Just, that is? Yes. Yes, you're right. You know saying. what? My husband's birthday is Sunday, August 27th. We're half birthday buddies. I, yeah. You really are. That's really cool. I have a half birthday, buddy. Do you have? Do you have one? Um, you. Yeah, Shannon. Yeah. Shannon Balding. Do you ever forget to wish them a happy, you know, half birthday because you're too busy thinking about yourself? Or well, <laughs> granted, I had not started here on my birthday, so I did not wish her a happy half birthday. But going forward, I will. Yes. All right. <laughs> Lessons yeah. learned. Lessons learned. So we've got that is the point. And that's very exciting. And we've got the air conditioning. Mm -hmm. And as you mentioned before, the back lot is now open at 11 a.m. every day for lunch, which is good for the lunch crowd. Come in, mm -hmm. relax, have mm -hmm. something to eat and drink. Again, the back lot is also air conditioned. I don't want to keep bragging about it. <laughs> but it's a whole thing. But and, it is. Um, as I was watching the weather forecast, it, it's very hot, and it's going to continue to be very hot. And when it's really hot, you're like, who wants to eat? And then I'll say, I do. But so, not everybody does. But next week, when it cools down, we're going to be breaking out some new menus. Oh, and okay. And so like some fall-themed menu. So I'm very excited about it. And this weekend, we have Bottoms, um, the movie that I was talking about before that kind of launched our August like theme. Mm -hmm. And it's going to have a, a small drop menu, very pineapple-themed. There's a pineapple drink. And then we're bringing back our incredible pineapple upside-down donut holes that we briefly oh. had. Those were insanely good and pineapple and cherry and I mean a cake donut hole is real iffy like if you see it in a gas station mm -hmm. but ours are incredible I don't think I've ever had that oh I was, my, and he loves they pineapple. Are so so good. so good so we check that out and then next week I'll give a little tease um, we have our Alamo bowl right now with with quinoa and beans and sweet potatoes and it's delightful but we're going to have a pulled pork version of our Alamo bowl which is mm. so insanely good I'm a big fan of bowls. You yeah. just throw a bunch of food in. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like a casserole, but you don't have to bake it, and you just eat it. And then the other thing, because we do love our donuts, we're going to have some caramel apple, like, donut holes. As oh, well. and yeah. They are so, so good. Now, so. I don't know if you caught this yesterday. We made a Pop-Tart casserole. Just saying, I we, could, we could get in the kitchen, you know, and start helping. Can you please share that with me? <laughs> yeah, I, I thought it was Stop delightful. Stop the presses. Can we just talk about that for the rest of the right? Or should we go to Alamo and get your um, donut holes and make a casserole from the donut holes? <gasps> yes. We, yeah, we do have like a, we've done a bread pudding before with, with the donut holes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that, that is amazing. Really, yeah. They are French dough bread pudding. And crawling. now, I know that Barbenheimer is still... Holding on, you have the is. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Are those items still available? I know that you yes, have some limited yeah. menu items. Teenage for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, we still got um, the Barbie drinks. Okay. And Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles menu is running through the end of the week. Mm -hmm. So definitely try that pizza. Curtis loves the Mutant Mayhem pizza. We also have the pepperoni and pickle pizza, which I don't sleep on it. Wait, it's, why? Yeah. Why is this the first time I'm hearing this? Cause because those Curtis are my favorite things. Yeah. Had one job. <laughs> and he did not tell me, Curtis, if you're he watching. He talked about the one thing he liked, as yes, you do. Uh, but, yeah, those are some really good. Can I ask you a random off-topic movie question now? 
I guess. Because so you work at Alamo. I'm just curious. Is there a movie coming up through the fall, through the beginning of the year, that you're just really, you know, everybody was gearing up for Barbenheimer. Mm -hmm. Is there something else coming out that you're excited about? I'm putting you on the spot here, because I'm just curious. I am the most excited in the fall about our October signature programming, because we try to, we put our heads together and come up with just a range of all types of horror, like from old, oh. like the 1931 Dracula, to we have a Dismember the Alamo like movie marathon that's a mystery movie marathon on Ooh. October 28th and oh, wow. you buy a ticket not knowing what four movies you're gonna see. Oh, that's fun. Wow. And then we'll have a tattoo artist there doing horror themed tattoos. Mm. And it's just, so I get more excited about that. Story. That than the actual okay. movies yes. coming out. Yeah, because yes. that is fun. See. Because I can't remember any movies coming out in the fall. I was like, I just now, don't know. Is there gonna be any like Comedic horror films like Young Frankenstein playing because I'm a scaredy cat, so I can't uh, watch we, horror. <laughs> yes, we love. I love the comedic horror. Okay. So yes, Good. absolutely. I, and Rocky Horror, of course. Oh, Rocky Maybe. Horror, of you course. Know yes. That. Yeah. Yes. And I love the original Scream. That's yes. to me that was yes. just oh, oh my gosh. iconic. It was. Okay, it Jen. So you're gonna stay and play a game with us? I am going to stay. And it's a new game yeah, that we've oh. not played before. Hey. So this is great. Thanks. Oh, for what a day Jake. this is. All right, you guys, stay tuned. We're playing that game after this. It's like my stomach is really growling right now because I'm like, I am so hungry.